I did a story uh, on 60 Minutes. Uh, it's actually a running story. We've done, we've done several of these. And the producer of the story is out there somewhere about musical savants, about uh, two young boys, men at this point, who really can't do anything. I mean, they're, they're severely um, intellectually impaired. One of them can't even button his own buttons. And there's, they're brilliant musicians, brilliant mm -hmm. concert level musicians. Ha. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it yeah. makes you think that, the, that music is in its own separate place yeah. in the head. I mean, how, do you, how else do you explain that? Yeah, well, I've, I've encountered this also several times. Um, Howard Gardner, the psychologist, had a theory of multiple intelligences. Um, one of the seven intelligences he recognized was musical intelligences, was musical intelligence, and he, he felt uh, uh, he felt this, this could be very highly developed in, in the absence of anything else. Um, or, or the opposite, that you could have brilliantly, variously gifted people who had amusia, who, who had no, uh, no recognition of music, no feeling for music, no, um, no reaction to music at all. Have you ever known anybody who, like that? Um, yes, I, um, I, I met a charming woman in the Bronx who um, told me how, as a little girl, she'd been unable to recognize music at school or to sing, and, um, the, and all her life had been made perplexed and, and wretched by, by music. Uh, when she was dating, she would go along with her boyfriend to a concert, but, she, but what she heard was somewhere between, as she said, between unintelligible and horrible. <laughs> um, that's, uh, uh, that's very sad. Um, in really. 2000 or something like this, she saw an article in the Times <coughs> about people who apparently, others who were apparently like this and research going on in Montreal. She offered herself as a research subject um, and they in fact found some changes in the brain in her. A little bit of the frontal, right frontal lobe was missing. They said this had occurred in other people with amusia. And she said, there are others. And they said, yes, there are some others. And, um, and it's not emotional. It's not because you have anything against music. Um, they, uh, they said, um, in future, when your husband asks you to a concert, say, you go. <laughs> right. I, 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 I'm going to the movie. But, but and, uh, and you don't have to ever listen to music again. And she said, uh, she was 70 then, she said, I wish I'd been told that when I was seven. When you're called the father of the internet, well, except that I have repeatedly pointed out that there are more than one father of the internet. There are a number of events in my life, but most people want to know who's the mother of the internet. Well, that's the mother of the internet.